Welcome back into LX News, everybody. I'm Ashley Holt. And earlier this month, the Biden administration announced the end to Title 42. It was first enacted by the Trump administration back in March 2020. Since then, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security has used the controversial public health order to quickly expel migrants at the border due to health concerns related to the pandemic. Over the past two years, the policy has allowed U.S. Customs and Border Protection to carry out more than 1.7 million of these expulsions. So what's changed now? Well, the CDC recently found that Title 42 was no longer necessary to protect public health from the spread of COVID. Now the policy won't be lifted until May 23rd, but critics believe that lifting Title 42 will lead to more migrants arriving at the border. In a letter to DHS, a group of Republican senators asked about the agency's preparations for the anticipated surge of illegal border crossings, saying Title 42 had been an effective deterrent to such crossings. But the DHS secretary says that Title 42 is a public health measure, not an immigration policy. So to get some deeper context on this, we're partnering with the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism. They have students at the Arizona-Mexico border. So I want to bring a student reporter, Andrea Villalobos, who has been at the Kino Border Initiative Shelter, where migrants are waiting to seek asylum. Andrea, I know that you have been talking to migrants at the border. What have you been hearing? What do they tell you about this? You know, there is a feeling of hope in the air, but many of these migrants have been here for as long as two years. So there is a general feeling of frustration among many of them. Yeah. What is a story that you've been told that that sticks out to you? You know, there was one woman who had, you know, mentioned to me that she had really hope that when she crosses the border, all she wants is a house and it doesn't have to be a mansion. She just wants a house with two rooms for her kids to be, you know, she was crying. She just wants her kids to be safe. And that just really, really touched my heart. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I do wonder when May 23rd hits, do we know what the plan is for those migrants who are already there or what's their understanding of what could happen on, on that day? You know, the thing is that for many of them, they don't really have a plan. They are just hopeful for the thought of potentially coming across the border. And, you know, they're not really making plans because they are just hopeful that this will be lifted soon and that there is, of course, that feeling of hope in the air. Yeah. And have any of them spoken to you about differences at the border now that we know that this is going to be lifted versus before when it was still very much comfortably in place? You know, there hasn't been a lot of differences here, just there has been a lot of people um, coming into the shelters and those shelters are welcoming them with open arms. They're very much prepared for, um, you know, that influx of migrants and across the border on the Nogales side of things in Arizona. Um, we spoke to Mayor Garino on that side and he was letting us know that, you know, they're not exactly expecting an influx, but they are ready for that. Yeah. And what do we know exactly about how border officials are preparing for the end of Title 42? Do we have any understanding of that? We have reached out to CBP, but we haven't quite heard anything yet. Um, but again, you know, these shelters are willing and able to accommodate as many people as they can. All right, Andrea, stay safe out there. Thank you so much for taking the time. You did a fantastic job. We appreciate your coverage so much.